Today, I am going over one of the best cell phone carriers around. And honestly, it's a carrier that I have been sleeping on. I didn't give them two thoughts when I heard of them, when I knew they existed. I thought, ugh, no, I would rather go Visible or Mint Mobile or Verizon, but Here's the thing, I think I have found a carrier that beats out Visible Mobile, and I know that sounds crazy, but I swear it's true. It's Xfinity Mobile, and in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons to switch to Xfinity and why it might be the best option for you. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching with Slout TV. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. I come out with new videos at least twice a week going over everything in the telecom industry, news, updates, cell phone plans, carriers, internet providers, and more. And I'd love for you to join along. We're also on every social media platform. Okay, now let's get to it. I'm going over the top five reasons or top five things you should know before switching to Xfinity Mobile. First two reasons are their two types of plans. We're going to start with their first plan type, which is pay by the gig. So so for pay by the gig, your price starts at $15 for one gigabyte and then goes up to $30 for three gigabytes and then $60 for 10 gigabytes. Now that might not seem like the best deal, but here's the catch. This is shared data. So you could have four lines on say the $60 plan and split 10 gigabytes of data between four people and you're still only paying $60. Same with the, 10, the $15 plan. You could have three people on that plan sharing one gigabyte of data on limited talk and text for $15. So when you think about it that way, if you are someone who doesn't need a lot of data or you're in a family or a household that doesn't use a lot of data and you wanna pay less for your cell phone bill, this is a great option. I'll jump on a shared data plan, either the one, three or 10 gigabyte plan, share the data and just pay the cost for that plan. I think it's a really great deal for people who are not heavy data users. This plan also includes HD 720p streaming. So you have some high quality streaming options. And then this with the shareable data, you also get access to use your hotspot that does cut into your data usage, which could be hurtful in the long run, especially if you have multiple people on your lines who use hotspots. But otherwise, you should be pretty good with this plan if you're a low data user or even on a budget. And the great thing with Xfinity Mobile is if you see that you are gonna be going over your gigabyte usage, you can upgrade to the next plan up, or you can even switch to an unlimited plan to potentially save you some money. And that is the second thing we are going over about Xfinity, their unlimited plan. Xfinity Mobile's unlimited plan is nearly unmatched. There are a few caveats. However, it is a great plan. So the price starts at $45 for one line and then incrementally gets lower and lower to $30 for four lines and that's as cheap as it will get. Now you might be thinking, Sherry, Visible Mobile can get you down to $25 for unlimited everything. But here's the thing that I think beats out Visible Mobile with Xfinity. You get 20 gigabytes of high-speed data usage with Xfinity before your data slows. You do not get a set amount of high-speed data to use with Visible Mobile you do with Xfinity. And I think it's worth the extra few bucks you might pay each month to get that high speed data that you wouldn't be promised with Visible Mobile. There are a few downsides with this plan, a few of them being you can only stream in SD with the unlimited plan unless you are on a hotspot or connected to Wi-Fi, then you can stream in HD. And the other thing is your hotspot speeds will only be 600 kbps. So they're not great hotspot speeds, but fast enough to get work done on your computer. I wouldn't try streaming anything from a laptop or TV using this hotspot. Where Xfinity kind of falls in second place to Visible Mobile is you do have to pay extra to call Mexico and Canada. However, when's the last time you've called Mexico or Canada? At least for me, that's never. And when I am traveling abroad, I'm mostly using Wi-Fi at the restaurants or hotels or wherever I'm staying. So for the most part, that perk for any plan really doesn't have a pull on me either way. So it just depends on your usage. If you travel a lot to Mexico or Canada or 
if you don't. This is a great option. And the last thing I want to add is that they are mix and match with family plans. So if you have a bunch of people that wanna use Xfinity Mobile in your household, then you can mix and match. Not everyone needs to be on an unlimited plan. Not everybody needs to be on a shared plan. You can have two people on unlimited, which would be 40 bucks each, so $80 for that. And you could have two people on the $30 three gigabyte plan, and that's only $110 for four people in your family to have unlimited talk and text and some data to use. The third thing you should know about Xfinity Mobile is that they now run on Verizon, which is the largest network in the country. They have incredibly fast 5G speeds and the most 4G coverage in the country. So you'll likely never be without service with Xfinity Mobile. And this is another reason why it's so comparable to Visible and even better than Visible is because the network is exactly the same except you get more high-speed data with Xfinity Mobile over Visible. The fourth thing you should know about Xfinity Mobile is that you do need to be an Xfinity or Comcast internet user. You have to have that already installed in your house or be a customer, otherwise you cannot sign up for Xfinity Mobile. However, there are currently 3 million Xfinity Mobile users and 31 one million people signed up for Comcast internet in the United States. So there are a lot of people out there who could benefit from this. And I think it's definitely beneficial to bundle this because then all of your bills are in one place for all of your telecom needs. So your internet Wi-Fi bill and your cell phone bill will all be from the same place. And I think to bundle that could potentially make your life just a little bit easier, not to mention could potentially save you tons of money, especially if you're on a Verizon name brand plan. You can can just switch to Xfinity Mobile and downgrade your bill and upgrade your experience. It's the exact same network for a lot less. The fifth thing you should know about Xfinity Mobile is that there is a vast hotspot network in the United States and that matters because if you are on Xfinity Mobile, your phone will switch between data and Wi-Fi depending on which is stronger. And with 18 million hotspot locations in the country, you'll never be without service or internet connections. And there's no need to switch back and forth manually between data or Wi-Fi because your phone will do it automatically and it will only switch off of the Verizon network if the internet connection is stronger. So you can be guaranteed awesome service no matter where you are. At first, although it might sound odd, using your cell phone service between Wi-Fi and a Verizon network might seem kind of not great. It is overall a really great option, especially for people who are running low on high-speed data. Okay, so what's the overall review I have? What are the positives? Well, I mean, I think everything about Xfinity Mobile is positive. You get 20 gigabytes of guaranteed high-speed data with the unlimited plan. You can have multiple lines on the shared plans, which I think is great. It's on the Verizon network. You can't go wrong there. Plus, all your bills are gonna be bundled in one spot with your internet bill and cell phone bill all in one now, which is helpful. Not to mention the vast network of hotspots that Comcast has nationwide. With 18 million, you'll literally never be without a connection. And in this day and age, that's important to me. And so I imagine it's important to most people as well. Okay, so what are the downsides with Xfinity Mobile? There isn't a great cell phone selection to choose from if you wanna buy a phone from Xfinity. And if you wanna bring a phone, that is limited as well. All iPhones can come, but if you're an Android, Android user, you might have some trouble, but you can go to Xfinity's website to double check and make sure your phone is capable to switch to Xfinity. And the other thing, of course, is that you can only sign up for Xfinity Mobile if you are a current Comcast or Xfinity internet customer. And like I said before, that's not everybody in the country, but that is 31 million people who can benefit from this awesome service that I think is flying way too far under the radar. That's it for today. What do you think of Xfinity Mobile? Are you gonna sign up for it? Are you gonna pass? Let me know what you would choose. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV.